Sit down and enjoy some electric relaxation because this week on Forever Spinning, we're delving into the 1993 hip hop classic Midnight Marauders by a tribe called Quest. A Drop Call Quest consists of MC and producer Q-Tip, DJ and producer Ali Shaheed Muhammad, MC Jerobi White, and MC Fife Dog, may he rest in peace. The group grew through the childhood friendship between Q-Tip and Fife Dog, eventually adding in White and Muhammad in 1985. The group released their incredibly well-received debut album in 1990, People's Instinctive Travels and the Paths of Rhythm on Jive Records. White left the group amicably to go off to culinary school. The rest of the group, however, got right back into things to begin working on their second project, The Low End Theory. The Low End Theory was incredibly well received by both critics and fans alike, boosting the popularity of the Tribe Called Quest into mainstream culture. The boys from Brooklyn were making some of the best jazz hip-hop at the time, featuring the brilliantly reflective and multi-purpose lyrics from Q-Tip and Fife Dog. The group then moved on to create their third studio project in four years following their debut. Midnight Marauders became a pivot in a musical sense for the group. Instead of focusing on their jazzy atmosphere that they have created in other projects, they decided to focus more on a funky and groove-heavy album. It's explained by the tour guide on the album, who periodically shows up to give information about the album, that the name itself comes from the fact that many of the recording sessions were done late at night, hence midnight and that the word maraud means to loot, and in this case, they were trying to loot the listener's ears. Alongside Wu-Tang Clan's Enter the Wu-Tang 36 Chambers, which is another incredibly influential hip-hop album of the 90s, this album was released on November 9th, 1993 on Jive Records. The first single to be released alongside Midnight Marauders was Award Tour. The track is basically a victory lap for the group, as they are creating some of the best material at this time while still rising to stardom. In order to create the easily memorable beat that this track offers, they ended up using a sample from another track called Hobo Scratch by British musician Malcolm McLaren of Sex Pistols and New York Dolls fame. A war tour became the group's highest charting single and it still holds that record to this very day. And like many of the tracks off this LP, it is bursting with horns, heavy bass, and wicked flows from Fife and Q-Tip. It is by and large one of the best singles that this group has ever put out. Next up is Electric Relaxation, being released in March of 1993. The track shows off the street poetry that the group had perfected over the years, painting a very sexy image of the women that the group had been with. Both MCs spit back and forth over another funky beat, which is this time being sampled from Ronnie Foster's Mystic Brew. In a 2013 interview, Fife Dog recalls hearing this instrumental for the first time. He'd come back from a trip, and when he was walking into Q-Tip's house, before he could even say, hey what's up, he immediately asked where the instrumental came from and began writing lyrics. This track is iconic to say the least, from its mumbled chorus that actually gets misunderstood many, many a time, as well as both MCs just dropping bars back to back to back on each other. Yet again, one of the best tracks that a Tribe Called Quest has to offer. The final single to come from the Midnight Marauders project is Oh My God, being released in June of 1994. Oh My God features Busta Rhymes on the hook while rapping over samples of Who's Gonna Take the Weight by Cool and the Gang and Absolutions by Max Roach. This is probably one of the least memorable singles to come off of this project, but it's still a good track regardless. This track tackles a large variety of topics, but if I had to guess what the main theme would be, I would probably have to say that it's the sheer versatility of the group as a collective. Many references are made about the different styles that each member embodies, but that they can come together and create killer music regardless. Overall, like I said, it's not as memorable as Electric Relaxation or Award Tour, but it's still not a bad song. It still holds up to the testimony that A Tribe Called Quest as a collective is an amazing and progressive group. I don't necessarily know if Midnight Marauders is personally my favorite project that A Tribe Called Quest has ever put out. It's probably between that or The Low End Theory. However, with both of those projects, A Tribe Called Quest cemented in history that they are one of the best hip-hop groups ever. 
So many fantastic tracks on this album actually never made it to become singles, whether it be Steve Biko, Stir It Up, Clap Your Hands, or We Can Get Down. Overall, this album is just a beautiful concept that has come together and really fully fleshes out what A Tribe Called Quest represents in their third studio album. The production on this album is much tighter in comparison to the low end theory. The lyrics are multi-purposed and layered, featuring many similes, metaphors, and the likes of that. Fife Dog and Q-Tip particularly stand out in this album simply for all the bars that they continually drop on top of each other. I can't speak highly enough about this album as it represents, in my opinion, what 90s hip-hop was. And I obviously attribute A Tribe Called Quest to many of the musicians that we see today. As I talked about in the Under Pressure video for Logic, Many artists have taken A Tribe Called Quest and used them as an influence. Under Pressure in particular, even taking as far as using the tour guide idea and using that. These guys have shaped a generation of musicians and I think that that is absolutely fantastic. So, whether you've never heard this album before, or if it's a personal favorite of yours, A Tribe Called Quest Midnight Marauders will always be forever spinning. Happy listening.